<laughs> hey there, this is Aunt Tiffany. Welcome to the Alchemy of Joy show. We are playing here with the alchemy, the magical transformation of energy that comes when we play in the frequencies of joy. I'm the creator of Planet Joy, and I'm here with Ina Lucas. <laughs> Hey, Anne, I'm Ina, and uh, your co-host here with this fun little Alchemy of Joy retreat, and I, um, I uh, am of Ina and the Alchemists. I channel um, a really fun group of non-physical teachers, so I kind of help people break through their blocks. Um, kind of. Not. Kind of. A <laughs> <laughs> little bit. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> So, um, and Anne and I just really love having uh, a fun conversation, fun, deep, powerful conversations together. And so we thought we'd go for it and share. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the magic of Ina and I co-creating together is, is this alchemy of what happens when we go deep, really deep into the core patterns of human nature and we bring the frequencies of joy to that, like really a high, high vibrational frequency and really unlock everything within ourselves to play in the world as a big playground, as our true authentic selves and live from our essence and live our purpose and live the most joyful, beautiful lives. And so that's what we're both about. And we just want to share it with everybody else who wants to play in that space of deep transformational work, playing with energy, playing in the frequencies of joy, having more fun. And so we're going to be doing these on a regular basis, just short little snippets of diving into what Whatever topic is alive that day and sharing through our co-creative joyful process and crazy wacky fun um, whatever deep insights are are wanting to be born that day so this is our first time sharing this in this medium and it's so cool and what I love about this process is we came up with this idea like it was just given to us three or four months ago and we were both like, we need um, a way to shoot video side by side. And at the time, neither of us knew what that would be. We didn't know the software. And now here we are very effortlessly finding ourselves doing side by side video that's really, really easy to use. And it's such a perfect illustration of how we dream our lives into being. Like we just, all of us are dreaming our life into being. And one thing I've noticed for me is it, it there's like, usually a two, three, four month um, manifestation period where the dreams that I had here very effortlessly take shape two, three or four months later. Almost always, it just is this flow and you just master the art of the game of this is what I want. And no, it's coming. You know, if you could know everything you wanted was coming two months from now, you would just relax about it, you know? But so there's Good this point. dreaming everything into being that is at the heart of conscious creation that we I really want to be sure we talk about. But the other part of that is what we were talking about before we got on today, which was in order to dream your life into being, you have to disrupt the old patterns of how you've been living that has been blocking your dreams from happening. So we're going to do some little pattern disruption today and just see what happens for <laughs> dislodging the old ways that have kept the, the flow from flowing. So. Yeah. What do you want to add to that, you know? Um, well, I really have been playing with pattern disruption lately because of um, a really powerful conversation that the alchemist had um, on one of our prosperity mastermind calls. Um, and I think like everything that you said, you know, here we are, you know, creating this uh, dream, dreaming uh, um, the creation into reality. And, um, and so often we're stuck in the old pattern of um, of dominant frequency, and um, and one of my dominant frequencies is overwhelm. Like I live in overwhelm, and that's why this question was so powerful for me with the alchemist, because what the alchemist said is um, is that uh, underneath the frequency of of overwhelm is a deep belief that we are not supported mm -hmm. as a, as human beings. 
Right. You know, so that just hit home for me of, oh my God, because with overwhelm comes, um, you know, lack and, you know, like, like you're so, you don't have enough time, you don't have enough money. And so, and then you don't have enough support and, you know, like that basic, just, it's such a basic fundamental um, uh, life existence, you know, food, money, the survival stuff. If, right. if like, I really, that hit home for me of, oh my God, overwhelm is some deep belief that, that you have to do it all alone, that you don't have the support non-physically. I mean, like intellectually, of course I know all that, but when you're living in overwhelm, it's like you forget to call on your non-physical team and, uh, to realize that there's such a huge infrastructure of support there. So, um, so what they said is, um, when you're noticing the pattern that you have, like the pattern, so when you're in the frequency of overwhelm, uh, you know, to be in it and recognize it, be the observer of, oh my God, I'm in overwhelm right now. And to allow yourself to feel that feeling and, and experience the pattern because that's part of it. You don't want to just not like not look at it and turn the other cheek. You want to be with whatever teacher is there for you in the anger, in the resentment and, you know, your chronic patterns of emotional thought and experience. Um, but then they said, and then you need to disrupt the pattern of overwhelm. You need to disrupt that pattern pattern by simply saying, I, I am ready to disrupt this pattern of overwhelm. Like, so in the moment that you're feeling the frequency of something to then, uh, to then consciously say, and I am disrupting this frequency of overwhelm and I'm disrupting this frequency of lack. I'm disrupting this frequency of anger, whatever it is. And it's in that disruption that in that moment, like the conscious, the conscious choice to say, and I'm disrupting this pattern is so powerful because it's like in that moment, it's the game changer. And then you're like, oh, wait, you know, like, whoa, what just happened? Right. Um, I'm being rerouted here. Right. I, was, I was really liking, I love living in victimhood and <laughs> you know, like, well, you know, the victim's like, no, don't take my overwhelm away. I uh, know. Uh, <laughs> I like being... <laughs> completely unsupported and not having enough money. <laughs> My to-do list is like 10 years long and I only have two days. Um, and so, uh, but then replacing it with a new frequency um, so that you can consciously in that moment say, I'm disrupting this frequency of overwhelm or whatever it is that you're disrupting and replacing it with a new frequency of... Um, and my new frequency is God, just, I love being, I'm so supported. I love being, I love that I'm so supported. I love that I have more than enough time and money. And I love that, uh, you know, everyone that I need shows up for me and uh, things happen for me effortlessly and just starting to create that new frequency of I'm fully supported in every way. Yeah. However that looks. So anyway, so that's been a yeah, big a game changer for me this week. I think it's important to deconstruct one more piece of the overwhelm that I think a lot of us will recognize because it's certainly been the transition for me as well. And that is overwhelm comes from believing that we have to do this, 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 and this in order to get this result. Like, here's what I want. So conventional thinking says, well, here you need to do this and you have to set up this and you have to have this in place and you better do this. And the list gets really, really long. But this is a whole different game of creation when we're truly supported by our infinite, eternal, higher selves and our guides. We can just go straight to what is it that I want to create? What's the outcome? Zip, fly in the future. Like, that is what I want to create. Oh, yeah, that yummy experience. That's what I want. And then come back here to the present and go, all right, guides, show me what is the inspired action to take mm. today? And it's this is the big freaking unhooking because the old the mind says, well, I'm going to need to do this, this and this in order to get this so that I have that. All of it is garbage. Like, really, all we have to do is follow the yummy energy of the hell yeah, this is what's inspiring. This is, this is where the lightness is. This is where my guides are showing me, go this way. And it is not a linear path. It is, mm -hmm. it is dancing all over the board. But to tune in and be supported means we got to listen day by day and go to, what do I 
want to do and not just like the little kid, well, I don't want to do that, but deeper from that deeper place in our core, what is it that is my divine desire that my guides are showing me is the path? And then all the other stuff just becomes an exercise in saying no. And yeah. that's the art of really conscious creating is getting really, really good at no, no, I thought yeah. I used to need to do that. And no, no. Yeah. And that's where we're putting up boundaries and stuff. But the, the pattern interrupt that came to me while we were, while you were saying all of that is to go from the big, Oh, of overwhelm to the big, Oh, <laughs> The big O, like it's follow your bliss is the pattern interrupt. <laughs> you get into O, oh, you reframe that to oh. <laughs> O. Oh. Yes, yes, that's what you want. Yes, yes, follow that. <laughs> oh my God, that is brilliant. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like I need to keep a vibrator with me or something. <laughs> I like, like, need to grab for a sex toy or something for that pattern. To drop. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my God. From the big O fuck to the big O. Yeah, baby. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so if we just can sum that up so that we can kind of keep our our time under control i'm wanting to be more mindful of time and so just bringing it back to get clear on really what you want what's the oh yes i want to create that experience and then let go of the need to map out all the dots in between and just tune into the, oh yeah, oh yeah, the breadcrumb trail and ask your guides every day, just get in the habit. Like I have to be honest, for me, I've been such an in my head person that has always needed to have a plan. For the last year, I've been using my phone and setting my timer every five minutes as a reminder to go, oh yeah, I have to tune into my guides. Like that's how dirty it is because it hasn't been a natural process for me. Like just to remember to go, oh, I'm supported if I just would ask, you know, yeah. but just remembering to ask um, where we develop good. that as a habit, my alarm goes off. Oh yeah, guys, hello, you know. So just remembering to ask, follow the O, switch from the O to O, <laughs> and you're on your way. Follow the O. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. So, so good. Awesome. Wow. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's do this again. <laughs> let's do it again. <laughs> All right. So this is your uh, overwhelm obesity weight loss plan to shed the layers of overwhelm and get back into the essence of what's really important. And you know in your heart what's important when you build the muscles of saying no so that you can go, oh. <laughs> no. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, that's all for this time. We'll catch you guys next time in, on the Alchemy of Joy. And uh, we are putting all of this yumminess together in a retreat in March. Uh, 2016. You're watching this later. This is March 2016. It's thealchemyofjoy.com. Come play with us on the beach in Baja and we'll Baja. take all this yumminess to whole new levels. Right. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Cheerio. Cheerio.